Hello everyone. Let's see how to configure an ATV D-Pack hardware and faceplates. Open the System tab and go to Logical Devices. Here, right-click on the ATV D-Pack and select Open Hardware Configurator. By clicking on the Add New Master button, you can add the ATV D-Pack Bus Master. Right-click on the ATV D-Pack Bus Master and select Add to choose the hardware CAT that will control and monitor the I.O. modules using IEC 61499 application. Be careful. Make sure they are in the following order. ATV Speed Control, I.O. Embedded, and I.O. Extended Cards. Here is a little tip. You can also hold down the left mouse key Drag the module to the good position and release mouse key. You can configure each module by opening its Properties Editor. Hardware Properties Editor allows you to edit and configure the hardware parameter settings. Select a module and press F1 to have more information about the parameters. For example, in your application you can use the Motor VS2D function block to command the Altivar Variable Speed Drive. Map it to your ATV DPAC device. Focus Point. You need to add the function block DPAC underscore full in it inside the resource of your device for a software and hardware initialization. Go back to your hardware configuration to drag and drop the symbolic links to the corresponding variables. Save. Let's create a new canvas for maintenance purposes, for example. Open the Node Canvases, right-click and select New Item. Enter the name of your canvas and click on Finish. Drag and drop from the Hardware Cat instances the ATV D-Pack. Its CPU diagnostics. The ATV speed control. And the embedded modules. As you can see, you can use different graphic symbols. Finally, you can test this canvas in simulation by opening the Runtime HMI. As you can see, we can force an input and observe some device variables in the HMI. That's it. Now you know how to configure an ATV DPAC hardware and faceplates.